Hi and welcome to this tutorial by Only RC. Today we will be updating the firmware of the Flying Lemon 2 Pineapples diversity receiver for the Fatrack Dominator goggles. To update your firmware, you first have to contact Flying Lemon on the email address provided in the description down below. In the mail you have to provide your nickname or pilot call sign. This is so Flying Lemon could add your nickname or call sign to the firmware. After receiving your email, Flying Lemon will send you a custom hex file containing the firmware codes. Flying Lemon also includes this manual in the mail you receive from them. Ok, enough information, let's start. Here you have the ISP programmer extension that's included in the box with your two pineapples diversity receiver. It is provided with a single row of 6 pins and a double row of 3 pins. We have to solder these pins to the programmer extension according to the manual. As you can see I'm using my helping hands to hold both the pins and the programming extension. This so everything will get aligned correctly. I'm using 300 degrees on my soldering iron and a big fat tip to provide heat fast and accurate. Okay, now that the ISP programmer extension is complete, we have to test fit it on the receiver module. It's placed on top of the module, and the pins are inserted in the six holes that's furthest away from the antenna mounts. As you can see, there's a lot of slop, so you'll have to firmly hold the programmer extension at an angle so the pins push against the whole edges while doing the firmware flash. Here you can see the USB ASP programmer I'm using to communicate and flash the two pineapples receiver. It's very important that you check that the wires on your USB ASP match up with the correct pins on the ISP programmer extension. This so you get a successful connection. Luckily on mine, the wires were correct. We are now ready to download the Cineprog 2.1 from the provided address in the manual. I have already downloaded the firmware file from my email and placed it on my desktop. Once the Cineprog is downloaded, just unzip it, open the program and you're ready to start flashing. Now that all the software and firmware is downloaded and installed, we are ready to connect the ISP programmer extension to the receiver module. Again, remember to hold it firmly in place and then connect the USB ASP to your computer. As you can see, both the USB ASP and the receiver module will light up. Remember, during the next step, it is very important that you hold the ISP program extension and the module firmly to not lose connection during the firmware upload. We are now ready to start the firmware upload. I start by selecting the firmware file. Then, according to the manual, I press Advanced. A new window pops up. These values are supposed to match the ones in the manual. If they match, close the window and press Program. The software is now flashing your receiver. Flashing is now complete. Close the software and disconnect the USB ASP from your computer. You can now test your updated receiver. You will notice that both your NIC or call sign and firmware 1.3 is shown during the module's startup routine. This is just an extra tip. I had a small issue with my connection. It seemed that my USB ASP did not supply enough current to the receiver module. I solved this by disconnecting the power wires from the USB ASP and connecting a 5 volt back to the ISP programming extension. This to the correct pins. By doing this I could complete the firmware flash. This tutorial was provided by only RC. Please comment and like and of course subscribe for more useful RC related videos. Thanks for watching.